please say your name and professional affiliation. My name is Donna Smith. I work as a community organizer and legislative advocate for the California Nurses Association. And uh, you favor single payer. Why? I favor single payer because it's the only way to help families like mine keep from going bankrupt with health care costs. I'm one of those millions of Americans who always carried health insurance, which always have, always will, and also carried disability insurance and a health care savings account as well. And yet when my husband became ill with some chronic illness and then I was diagnosed with cancer, within a very short amount of time we found out the limitations of private insurance, all the clauses and maximum out-of-pocket exposures and all the things Americans will find out if they ever actually use their private insurance that don't keep you covered. We ended up losing everything we worked a lifetime to achieve, sold the house before we went bankrupt. So we lost everything that we took a lifetime to achieve. Actually, today is our 33rd wedding anniversary, so it's one of those days that's really important to me to think about. But I wrote this morning about the fact that how in the world do I look at the last 33 years and realize that 20 of them have been spent in this horrific battle to make sure that we maintain some kind of stability as middle-class Americans. We're not slackers. We're not people who stood by the sidelines. So when I started to fight for health care justice for all American citizens, the only sensible way for me seemed to be through single payer. It's the most cost-efficient for my family and millions of others. When I add up what I pay in private insurance premiums and out-of-pocket costs, it well exceeds what I would pay under a single payer plan. My paycheck will be better under a single payer plan, higher every week than what I get now. So I'll have more money in my pocket. I will choose where I go to the doctor, who I get care from, and if I like that person, I'll go to them more. If I don't, I'll switch to another doctor. And it's also better for my nation. I love this country. I want to see us do the best we possibly can by our citizens. What made you become active in this? <laughs> Originally, I was a journalist in South Dakota, and Tom Daschle was one of my senators. He was the Senate Majority Leader at the time, and I reported on him. And I stood up at a town hall meeting many years ago, and I told him I wanted him to stop having brain death over the health care issue, that I wanted what he had at the cost that he had it. And he went back to the United States Senate then and passed a sense of the Senate resolution asking that all American citizens have access to the same level of health care as every member of Congress. Very important stuff. But as we know, Tom Daschle lost the election that he was in next. And I went on to do much more horrible things in terms of health crisis. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine prompted me to write an email to Michael Moore about the movie that he was working on, on Sicko, and I sent kind of a terse, angry message into Michael Moore saying, you know, while you're working on this great film about health care, yeah. why don't you talk about what's happening to real Americans, what's, how we're suffering. Never expected to hear anything. Well, in about six weeks, a producer was in touch with me. They vetted out our story, got our medical and financial records, and then we were included as one of the stories in the movie Sicko. And so is single payer going to happen in the United States? Yes. Single payer will happen. But I tell people, and I tell my fellow single payer activists, I testified in front of Congress two years ago to tell them what I felt. Two years ago. Our struggle is intensifying even now. You know, the, the brave people who were arrested in some of the boxes here helped elevate us all. This is a human rights struggle. This well may not be solved during this congressional cycle. We may have to keep fighting this battle. We will win it. Like every other great human rights struggle in the history of this nation, we'll win it. But we're going to have to work hard, we're going to have to fight together, and we're going to have to stand up for what we know is right, and that's that every American is entitled to health care. Thank you, Donna. Thank you very much.